All right, so while I still don't own any Bitcoin or sell on Amazon FBA, I have still continued to sell on Etsy using print on demand fairly successfully in 2021. Welcome to Teacher in the Tesla. And for those of you that are new here, I opened an Etsy shop at the tail end of 2018. And yes, I still work full time as a middle school teacher. And while I have made previous videos summarizing some of the progress in my journey with my Etsy shop, Today's video will summarize how much I made in 2021, including how much I made selling on Etsy and how much I made on YouTube. And that would be how much I made in my first year on YouTube with 21 listed videos. I will say that for the first time, the profit made in the Etsy shop and from the YouTube channel now exceed the gross yearly income I make as a teacher. To put that in perspective, keep in mind that I am at the maximum number of years of education and the maximum number of years worked. My salary is at the top of the pay grid after many years of post-secondary education and years of experience. So my income is essentially capped in that department. So I am not at a starting salary and now selling t-shirts on the internet exceeds that income. Now, a little bit of background as I get that it's really hard to believe anyone saying, I'm not saying this to brag, but I really do want you to know that I certainly haven't had this type of success in my Etsy shop right out of the gate. And I've essentially been working on my print on demand Etsy shop before I even started the Etsy shop. I had struggled with a Shopify store and I was having virtually zero success with that for nearly two years. However, when I started the Shopify store, I had virtually no experience with Photoshop or Illustrator or graphic design at all. And the other design tools available at the time just didn't seem like a good option to me. So eventually, while I got tired of trying to outrank Etsy in Google search for individual items, yeah, I know it's laughable, but then I decided, well, if you can't beat them, join them. So now after being three years in and nearly 25,000 individual item sales on Etsy, I can certainly say that the financial outcome is certainly the result of a marathon and not a sprint. So I hope that the results here have the possibility of sounding achievable to you, especially if you go back and check out some of my previous passive income updates. As I'm trying to say, this is definitely not the result of any type of overnight success. I hope that in the least it will help to encourage you to keep going and not to give up. While we think we all want immediate and fast results, don't be discouraged if you are only seeing incremental growth and improvement in any aspect of your life. Well, let's finally begin. To summarize, in 2019, the shop had a profit of approximately $12,000 with 2,718 orders. But really keep in mind that 5,000 of that $12,000 of profit in 2019 was made in December. While I really hadn't made any kind of substantial profits until May of 2019, I knew I was on to something. And when December of 2019 rolled around, it certainly validated that idea. And 2020, of course, was off to a bit of a slow start with everything transpiring in the world at that time as it took a while to be able to take advantage of the intense buyer interest in my items. As many print-on-demand providers were very short on staff or they were short on items or both, so I ran limited ads, did not run any promotions. But once again, when things had recovered a little bit, the sales numbers at the tail end of the year were ridiculous to me as I had some individual weeks where I made more than my entire teaching salary for a month. The shop had over $16,000 of profit in November and again $16,000 of profit in December, which led to a total profit in 2020 of $66,853.42 with 6,722 orders in my Etsy shop in 2020. And as we'd like to hope, 2021 blew that right out of the water. I worked hard to maintain the momentum the shop had in 2020 by adding items, using Etsy ads, and using other promotions such as short-term discounts to maintain and grow the sales of the shop. Of course, becoming lucky with trends really helps when it works out. Now, November and December are always fascinating to me as the sales are usually double or triple the previous September and October. 
And interestingly, while December was the highest month in terms of the total gross sales and the amount of profit, with November in second place, but since it's now January, I want to point out that last January was the third highest in the year for total sales and in fourth place for the total amount of profit. So again, since it's January right now, keep in mind that January doesn't have to be a slow sales month. So here are the statistics for how much I made selling on Etsy in 2021. But just to save us a few seconds, I'll round the numbers while reading. But the exact numbers will be up on the screen. The profit for January was 7,000, February 5,300, March 6,900, April 6,400, May 6,100, and June, June 2,300. Now most of these numbers are pretty consistent, but I don't know what happened in June. Now remember how I added 300 new items to my Etsy shop in May? I think that is partially why, but June also was the beginning of an overall change in trends and an overall change in season as well. Then getting on to July with 6,200, August 7,200, and we begin the crazy climb to the end of the year with 6,500 in September, October 5,900, and when we get to November and December, it just gets crazy with 16,600 in November, and it leads us to the highest month I've ever had selling on Etsy with a profit of over $22,000 with over $80,000 of total sales in December. So the total for how much I made in 2021 is $98,757.21 so far, which is insane. But that would be forgetting how much YouTube paid me in 2021. And that would also be for the first year starting on YouTube. So I started the YouTube channel on December 29th of 2020 and uploaded the first video about selling on Etsy on January 10th. It took nearly seven months for the channel to become monetized, which of course course is thank you to all of you because to become monetized on YouTube, a channel needs 1000 subscribers and over 4000 hours of watch time or the amount of hours that people have spent watching my videos. So once the channel was monetized after all these months, the channel finally earned a whopping 19 cents on the very first day. But in all seriousness, it really does add up and ended up being a total of $2,604.91. Thanks again to all of you for watching the videos. And then, and this puts my online income into the six figure range. And that, that is just crazy to me. And so while I don't plan on making any more regular income updates in 2022, I will continue to put the number of sales that the shop has had at the bottom of the description box of every new video. I do plan to focus more on helping all of you with your Etsy shops and Etsy success. Do take a second to comment down below with the goal that you have for yourself for your income in your Etsy shop. I sincerely hope that this inspires you to keep going. And while taking huge action toward earning more with your Etsy shop or YouTube channel can certainly be incredible, even small incremental steps can really add up over time. Thank you so much for watching. See you later, superstar.